Hi everyone, welcome to this second lab in our series. And in this lab, we're gonna look at our database services and the sample data sets that we ship with each and every autonomous data warehouse cloud instance. So what we're gonna do in this lab is we're gonna explore the different service levels that we have. So at the end of the last lab, when we set up the connections that you can see here, admin high, admin low, we talked about the low, medium, high resource groups, service levels that you can access. We also briefly touched on the fact that you get some sample schemas shipped with each instance. And here we're gonna do some more queries. So we get the sales history, which is a retail star schema environment dimensions and fact tables and we also provide you with something called the star schema benchmark which is a generic industry-wide schema that vendors use um, that you can deploy onto different environments run a predefined set of queries workloads and do comparisons between different environments and what we're going to do is going to run some queries from these schemas and you're going to look at them running in different resource groups and see how the performance compares. Okay, so we set up two accounts, uh, yes, in the last one, in the last lab. So now let's connect to our low group using our admin account. And let's just have a quick look. You can see we've got no tables here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a query. So let me just quickly paste this query in here. So we're gonna select city and region, and we're gonna take it from a table called ssb.customer. So this is coming from our star schema benchmark. So as you see, we have no tables here, but we do provide you with this star schema benchmark um, environment, and we can run queries against it. So let's execute this query and let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna run that. Query is gonna execute on Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. We'll get the results back into here and you can see we fetch back 50 rows. And if we scroll down, obviously we have a total of 250 rows and with the scrolling, so there's a bit of time lag as I scroll down through the data set, uh, 8.248 seconds to run that query. Okay, so let's pin that so I can see the next stage. So now what we want to do is connect to our high resource. And if you're not used to SQL Developer, we would just click on the high resource here, and this will open up a new worksheet for me admin high. Okay, so what we want to do is run the same query again, but this time not using low, but using high. So let's change the low references to high, and then let's execute that query. Okay, run. So that query's off, it's running, and you see it comes back in 3.48 seconds, and we get the whole lot back, all 250 rows in three seconds. So let's pop back over to here. So we have 250 rows in eight seconds, and we get 250 rows in 3.35 seconds. So this is my high resource group. This is giving me access to more resources when I run the query. Okay, so we've looked at the fact that if we run in different resource groups, we get different response times. Um, what happens if we rerun a query again? Might sound strange, let's pin admin high again, and let's just execute that query. Well, comes back in 1.12 seconds. So here's our first result, 3.3, let's scroll down here, 0.605 seconds in total to bring back all of that record set compared to three seconds. So what's going on here? 
So what you'll see is that in this situation, we're accessing some of the features, the built-in performance boosters that we have in the database. We know the queries run again, the syntax is the same, and we're able to use the built-in caching facilities to return that information much, much faster. So we're using the query caching capabilities. So we've seen that we can run A faster by moving resource groups, and we can also see that by having the capabilities, the automatic performance tuning capabilities within Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, that we get faster response time when we see that the same query is being run uh, again. Now, in the lab that you've got, there's some additional queries, some additional um, situations that you can play through, work through, um, running other queries to, again, test out the response times using different resource groups, rerunning the queries again, and you'll explore this in more detail in the workshop. Okay, enjoy.